Okay, let's start by exporting all our data. So first thing, I'm just going to export again my skin data. So I'm just going to select here all my objects, including the body setup. Go to my MGR menu, skin, export skin pack as key. And here I go to my custom steps folder, data, skin, and I'm just going to overwrite this one. So I'm just going to save this. Do you want to overwrite? Yes. So I'm overwriting everything. It's going to take a few seconds while it's exporting everything. Now you can see here it's exported. So one thing before exporting that I didn't make here, maybe you should do it, is it's a good idea to be sure that on the influence you remove all unused influence. So you can see here it's not that much, a little there, there, but it's going to be cleaner and lighter your skin later. So I'm just going to keep it like that. And again, skin, export, and all right again. So I have my skin. This is the easy part. Now I'm just going to export all the shapes data. So we have corrective plane shapes in a few objects so we need to go one by one and export it so I'm just gonna start with the lower part so I'm just gonna hide the controls here shapes load here so I load this and I go to tools and export node data so here on my export node data I have a path from the previous uh, tutorial so I'm just gonna select something here so I go to my custom steps data shapes here and I'm just gonna keep this name that is the name of the plane shape node so it's important you keep clean your name so everything it's gonna match later so if you have like plane shape one two three later you don't know which one is which one so I'm just gonna select here export only all targets in ASCII and export let's check what uh, which data we have here so under shapes we have these three files if we have uh, way maps here that we don't have it, we will create also way maps here files. But we have this mail file is the one that we're gonna get uh, to use to import. Then we have these uh, two Maya files, my ASCII files, one that contains all the blank shapes and one that contain extra notes information. The, you need to keep these together and you need to be careful that you don't change the path or location where it's done. And the reason is because here on the mail, this is something that's outside of Ngear or my control. This is how it's designed on on Shapes plugin. But if I open this with uh, Sublime Text, this is my uh, mail file, and you can see here it has three uh, path. This one here and lower here we have these two that are hard coded path. There, there is a way to do this relative also, but it's not covered in, the, in this tutorial. And normally I don't use it because it's, I mean, it, normally I don't move that and it takes same time to edit this than to add this uh, fix that will solve this issue. Plus if you re-export again, it's going to be overwrite. So basically that is how I, I keep it. And just remember to edit these three locations if you move your data from the original folder where you export it. Okay, so we have this. Now let's go for the trousers, so the pants. So again, tools, export data. Now that we export it the first time, you can see here the path is already properly set. So I'm just gonna export again. So we don't have anything on the belt. Let's move to the shirt. So just go tools, export data export and here I'm just gonna load again remember to load mm -hmm. and export again and last should be the neck again export okay so we have all the the data export and you can see here we have if we select by type we have one two three four five mail files this is the ones that we want to 
to import. So now that we have this, if we go back to our import shapes, remember we have this comment out here. So I'm just gonna copy paste this line. And I need to put here my, my path. So in order to put the path, I can type it manually, but it's gonna be annoying. Or I just can go here and if you are in Windows like me with Control Shift, right click, you have this copy as path. Normally if you right click only, you don't have this option. So Control Shift, right click. And you have this option here. And now where it says shape mail path, you just paste this like this. Well you can also take the, the quotes there. So it's gonna take in this. But we have a problem here is that mails wants the back slash. So I'm using Sublime Text and I'm just gonna take advantage of on hotkey, really nice that it's gonna select all the same characters and just change all at once. If you're using another editor or you don't know how to use Sublime Text, you need to, to edit this one by one, like this. And now that you have one, I'm just gonna copy paste this. I'm just gonna copy paste like this, or again, if you have Sublime Text or other editor, you have a hotkey to duplicate lines like this. Okay, so now the only thing I need to do is just come here, copy, and just paste here, and again, just copy this name and paste here. Copy. And the last one. So we have the five um, shapes setups ready to import. So that's it. I'm just going to save my custom step here. Okay, so we have this, that's great. So last, I'm just gonna um, clean up this. So I'm just gonna delete all my my guide, uh, sorry, my rig. Okay, let me double check, change sparring, gimmick. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I hope I don't miss anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna export my guide. So. I'm my guide, I like to export it under data, so I'm just gonna rig bits, I'm sorry, shifter, export guide template. It's taking a little bit to open this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to custom steps, data, and here I'm just called this guide and save. So now it's gonna export my my guide here. So basically I can delete my guide. So just double check again. I have my gimmicks, I have my chain parent, I have my import skin that I already have for this and my import shapes is there. The only thing that I need to export later when I clean up everything is my, my geometry. And normally you do this at the beginning, not at the end. I'm just doing this for the purpose of this tutorial, but obviously you, you want to keep a clean copy of your geometry somewhere else or from the beginning there. Okay, so I just can now delete my my guide. So now that I have my guide, I just can go and delete my my rig. So I just can delete the full rig. And now that I delete everything, all this obviously it's still there some so I want to, to clean up this, so I just can go like this, right click with control and delete all the notes, everything like this. Or I just can brute force, delete history, edit, delete by type history. So it's gonna delete everything. And this is not the best way to do it. As I say, you need to, to keep clean track of your um, geometry. But because if you check here, 
Maya. I'm not showing my shapes. Just a second. Um, display extended all shapes. Okay. Um, extend the shapes, please. Yeah. In some situations, you may end up with some origin shapes or some garbage on your scene. So just double check this. You don't have garbage. In this case, it's good. So I'm just going to take this and now I'm just going to select this and file export selection. And under my custom steps, asset and remember, I need to call this geo because it's the one I'm looking for on the import geo. So here it's assets geo.ma. So geo my ASCII file, export selection. So now I'm just cleaning up my scene. So nothing still is there. And now I'm just gonna import my, my guide and just go to my data and import this guide file. So I'm just gonna open. One thing while it's loading, it's um, here on the import geo, I have this try and accept that selects the guide because when you import the geo, it's changing the selection and because you build from selection, if you lose your selection, it's not gonna build. So I have this little try and accept here to build the guide. And why I do it in a try and accept, it's because if you build from file, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna work because you you don't have the f the the guide to to load, so you need to um, to load uh, to, or to put this in a try and accept. 